Hey, what's up? I'm Joe with OC Detailing. And behind me, I have a Corolla GR. Now, if you don't know what this car is, this is a super hot hatch that we were waiting for many, many years to actually come to America. And the people that are lucky enough to have one probably waited a year plus to get one, just like my customer with this one behind us. Now, he spent all this time, all this thought. It was really an emotional decision to be able to pick this car up. And then he got it. And the first thing he wanted to do was protect it with paint protection film because who wants their new car to get a chip, a scratch, a ding on the front of it? So he took it to a shop and ah, they fumbled. Let's just say uh, they had some trouble doing an install. I can tell you because we've worked on a few of these now that this is actually a very difficult car to work on. Even though it's a Toyota Corolla, it needs to be treated with the utmost respect because this is a super involved personalized decision for somebody. So if you ever see someone driving one of these, they love this car and they are truly a car person. It's not a car you really want to half step or do a bad job on or leave less than as good as it could be because the customer is going to be really sad. And that's what happened to my customer for this one. So I'm going to show you the install. Now, I've removed a little bit of it and just what I removed, I did find some blade marks on the car. It looks like the film that was installed was all patterned. So what happens is, is when somebody's inexperienced and you get a really hard car like this and they're using a pattern install, they're not used to cutting on the car. So they go to do their install and then the film doesn't cooperate. So instead of getting it to install correctly, they just cut it and they're cutting directly on the paint. And that's going to inflict some damage here and there. Uh, on this one, it, what I saw already, I haven't removed all the film, was pretty bad, but I think we can fix some of it. So let's take a look at the install. If we go down here, you can see there is a ton of debris in this film. There's like dust, dust, and then you've got a bunch of lifting. And right here, this line, see how uneven this is? So if we pick this up, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw, if we saw a cut line here because of the weird cut. There's another one up here. So right here, you have to have a relief cut, but it's like a, because of this hard recess. But if you look at the way that's done, it's like he chewed it off or maybe like cut it with his teeth or something or gnawed at it like a beaver. Maybe he used a beaver um, to cut that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you look right here, you can also see these are uneven cuts too. So when you're using a templated kit, it should just line up and stick and they should have the cut already made for you. Cause this loves, it looks like a templated install by the way some of these relief cuts are here and the way it butts up right there. Um, or maybe they tried to bulk it and maybe that's where all the problems came from. Uh, you can see it's lifting really bad right here. You can see it's lifting really bad right here. You can see it's not set flush there. Right here, you have what is known as a finger. So if you see this, this is a finger. Now they couldn't get the finger down right there, so they just cut it out. So there's another place where you're probably going to risk some blade marks. Um, now that's just this corner of the bumper and the rest of the car that where it's wrapped is equally as bad. Uh, you know, I started to peel the film back here in a couple places just to kind of glance while the customer was here to see if I noticed anything weird. And when I did pick this film up, there's a blade mark that goes all the way down right here. Um, I actually, actually picked this up right here. That is a cut line that went all the way right here. So <laughs> all across this top line here, it's lifting. It's like he stopped at the edge, but it's still lifting everywhere down here. Um, if you look right here, he's got fingering all along this light. So same thing here, uh, which looks really bad. Tons of distortion right here. And then again, those little fingers, he had them right here. But instead of, you know, he cut those out like that. That's, that's all hand cut out. So there's a high probability that this got bladed right here. It's all lifting right there. Same thing, fingers, he cut them out. Um, you know, this is one of those moments where he should have called the customer and said, uh, sir, I bit off more than I could chew. I am unable of completing this job at anywhere near a decent standard. Unless this is a standard he holds his company to. And really sad part about that is, is we've seen tons of cars like this. So you take your car somewhere, you trust them, they tell you one thing and they give it back to you like this. Not only do they give you a really bad job that's unacceptable, but they damage your car in the process. So it's really disheartening when this happens and it makes all of us look bad because then they're like, are all the paint protection film installers like this? And I can say, no, we're not. There, there are some really good ones out there. Uh, and you know, our work is really exceptional. So we would never give back someone's car like this. But if I ever got into a situation where something was just ridiculous and we couldn't do it, before I damage the car, I'd just call the customer and say, I'm sorry, I'm incapable of doing this for you up to the level that I believe we should be performing at. So if you want to come pick your car up, 
Uh, I did everything that I could. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't finish the bumper, but that's not what this guy did. He decided that he was just going to full send and cut out all the fingers and, you know, massacre this car and blade it in a bunch of places. And, you know, it was like everywhere I've lifted film up so far, there's cut marks. So I'm hoping we can fix all of it. Did the guy tap out? <laughs> he should have. No, he didn't tap out. He should have tapped out. Someone should make him tap out. He just massacred this poor guy's car. Mm -hmm.